It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, pardon me if this one isn't so great. I'm kind of under the weather a little bit. I'm not feeling well. Uh, today's video is on Kix Brooks from Brooks and Dunn, how he compared his childhood to the Andy Griffith show. He said, our household wasn't Leave It to Beaver. Let's take a look. Kix Brooks opened up about his childhood on the latest episode of The Road You Leave Behind with Mar Marty Smith. He looked back fondly on how his life mirrored Mayberry. According to Brooks, the Andy Griffith show was his favorite in his household. They didn't just love the show, in a way they lived it. While many other families could see themselves in the Cleavers, the Brooks family looked a little more like the Taylors. Brooks explained to Marty Smith that his life was so much like Andy Griffith's show during the first minutes of the podcast. Much like Aunt Opie Taylor, Kix, lo uh, Kix lost his mother at a young age. After her passing... His paternal grandmother moved in with him and his father. He told Marty Smith, he said, My grandmother was big, looked just like Aunt B. His father, he said, was real-life version of Andy Taylor. My father, if you'd ever met him, was the perfect uh, picture-perfect image of Andy Taylor. He walked like him, even kind of looked like him. and had that same kind of homespun way about him and always seemed to have a good moral at the end of the day. He was always my ground, my grounded mentor. Kixbrook's dad taught him about fairness in much of the way that saying that Andy Taylor taught Opie. About this, Kix said, when I was could find a way of weaseling out of something or maybe cutting a deal that was a little too much in my favor, he would always bring me back to the center and remind me what was right. His lessons from his father didn't just come from a form of talks without about doing what was right. His father gave me some hand-on lessons and hard work. His father was a pipeline engineer, and as soon as Kix was old enough, he was working in the pipeline business. Brooks was in a shop working with the other pipeline guys and loading trucks by the time he was 14. It lasted until he got old enough to get out in the field. This is where his education and hard work really began. His father didn't show him any pre 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 sorry, preferential treatment. According to Brooks, it was exact opposite. When I was old enough to be out of the job, he always found it the nastiest, hardest ditch full of mud or whatever I, I could be with a shovel. He looks back on his childhood these days with a smile. There were times that taught him how to go out and put in hard hours to get the job done. Country mu music fans the world over have kicks his father to thank for this work ethic that made him the performer that he is today. He also learned how to be down to earth from his father, looking back on the strength of character that his father passed on to him, he said. He went into service and put himself through college, and obviously he was a really smart guy. But there wasn't a pretentious bone in his body. He never pushed society out to be in the crowd. He was always home. I can still hear him whistling through the door at 5.30 every day. And he whistled out the door at 7 o'clock in the morning. He worked till the, the day he died, and he loved his work just like I do. And that is how Kix Brooks' life kind of mirrored the Andy Griffith show. I thought that was kind of neat. And I know this one probably this one probably won't get many views because it's not really about the Andy Griffith show, but I think it is. So I thought I should do it. So there you go. It's all I got for you. Like I said, I'm not feeling real well, so I'm going to uh, edit this. I'm going to go lay down and edit this. And uh, we'll catch you tomorrow. Have a great day. God bless, and I'll be praying for you. Mm -hmm.